Hi, I'm Brittany with Beautifully Connected. I'm a birth doula, massage therapist, and I practice herbals with the Wise Woman Method. Welcome to my channel. Let's talk about pregnancy and nutrition. So a lot of evidence has shown us that poor nutrition during pregnancy can lead us to higher risk factors. I want to give you this information because I want you to be as low risk as possible and as healthy as possible for your pregnancy. Nutrition is kind of like an iffy subject for a lot of us. Many of us have poor access to good foods. Many of us work and take care of many small children. Many of us have spouses that also work. So we have issues with cooking food and finding food and then making nutritious food as well. Let's face it, it's a lot easier to hit the drive-thru on the way home than it is to sit and prep a meal and actually cook it, especially if you're tired, especially if you're pregnant, especially if you're hungry. I know I've been pregnant many times and when you're hungry, it's like a hunger that is absolutely undescribable. And I like the term hangry. It's very applicable to pregnant women. So keep yourself fed and happy. The other issue is not only do we have poor access to food because it's so difficult to cook and find nutritious food, but uh, some of us get that pregnancy nausea or morning sickness that they like to talk about. Uh, that's so common for a lot of us. So if you are having that nausea and you're not able to keep food down, and now I'm gonna like hammer you with pregnancy nutrition. <laughs> Don't feel bad about yourself. I get it. The nausea is really hard and it'll just like take the life out of you. There is a condition called hyperemesis gravidarum and that basically means you're pregnant and you throw up a lot and it's horrible. I thankfully only had that with one of my pregnancies but it was so bad that I had to have like this IV drip of like anti-nausea medication. <laughs> I don't recommend that condition to anybody. Avoid it at all costs. I know mostly it's a, pre a, a genetic predisposition and it just kind of happens randomly, but it's no fun to throw up and it's no fun to throw up your entire pregnancy. So <laughs> I wanna teach you some things that you can combat if you do have HG or if you're having some struggles with getting good nutritious food in your life. So one of the things that I really enjoy is uh, herbal infusions. So herbal infusions are really simple to make at home and if you're a person who enjoys tea, herbal infusions are going to be really great for you. I like to talk about infusion for pregnancy just because it's a simple thing that we can all do. We can all prepare a few herbs and let it sit in a jar overnight and then drink it. Um, with these herbal infusions, you just have to use some pregnancy safe herbs. I like to recommend people stinging nettle, red clover, or red raspberry leaf tea. On the internet, you will find a lot of different sources saying a lot of different things, but there has been absolutely no studies or evidence that shows that red raspberry leaf tea is not safe during pregnancy. So um, when you're purchasing your herbs, make sure that they're good, organic, or go and wildcraft them. A lot of people have red clovers growing in their yard. As long as you don't spray for weeds, they're safe to eat. So you can gather all of these things and make a simple infusion for yourself. But the reason why I recommend infusion, especially during pregnancy, is because it helps you get these minerals and vitamins that we're deficient in mostly just as a modern society, but especially during pregnancy. So specifically the herbs I mentioned, they're very helpful with vitamin A and vitamin C and also they help with calcium and magnesium absorption. You guys know I'm a little crazy about the CalMag. We already talked about that on my channel before. I'm gonna link that video in the comments if you don't know what CalMag is. Um, but the infusions, they're amazing for you because everybody can sip on some tea and you can add a little bit of honey to that or a little bit of stevia to make it a little bit sweeter if you need to. But sipping on that infusion or that tea is very helpful in bolstering your mineral consumption and your vitamin consumption. I know that many people recommend taking the prenatal vitamins. That's wonderful, it's amazing, but vitamin pills are not very bioavailable to our body. So what that means is that it's really hard for your body to break down a pill that you're taking and actually access all of those nutrients that are in the pill. So you might look on your pill bottle supplement and it might say that it has like 2,000 times the amount of vitamin D that you need in a day. How much of that are you actually absorbing? Chances are not much. And then many of us have different conditions that affect the mineral and vitamin absorption in our foods and, and uh, vitamins anyways. So it's better for you to get your minerals and your vitamins from a food source than it is to get it from a vitamin pill. So something like an herbal infusion is very helpful for a lot of us, especially if you're on the go, especially if you have HG 
or especially if you just in general have a poor access to food or are overly tired or nauseous or having trouble cooking a nutritious meal. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like this video. Also, if you have any questions about holistic health, be sure to put those in the comments for me.